Remember when it would have been cool to have an awesome X-Men game to play in the 90s? Well, we certainly never got that on the Sega Genesis. They completely screwed it up. I mean, if you're talking about X-Men, they got that completely wrong. I mean, take a look at this. This is the best X-Men game that you could come up with? First off, they completely ruined everything. I mean, there was this big controversy back in the early 90s about not having women in games, so you couldn't call it X-Men. That made people feel insecure, so they had to change it from X-Men to X-Mutants. And then, there was also a literacy issue. They didn't want you purposefully misspelling games, so that also became a controversy. So they decided to put an E in front of X, because X alone is not a word. So then it became X-Mutants, and then they threw a hyphen in there just for good measure. And then the other controversy is that Cyclops' muscles were offending people, so they gave him a trench coat and took away his eye power. And I'm not offended by muscles. So instead of looking for clever ways to incorporate all of the X-Men, you pretty much only play as Scott and Jean. Except that Scott doesn't have his laser powers, and Jean doesn't have her Phoenix powers. Instead, she hits things with nunchucks. I think you're stuck in the danger room, but it's really hard to tell. I'd ask Xavier, but he's dead in this timeline. Yeah, he's dead. That came with the DVD. Alpha 5 has a mission for you. You have to go to the hallway and find things. You gotta get Jubilee. You rescue her. Her name isn't Jubilee in this game. It's Tanya. It's controversy. The story of the user for this game is based off of X-Men issue 118, the one where Megamind teams up with Mojo, and they try to defeat Magneto by defeating you first, and then Magneto dies of heartbreak. Yeah, this is real. I read like 8 X-Men comics, I know everything. You got your information from like, Wikipedia and fake. So you can't correct me. The biggest problem with this X-Men game is that it tries to rip off Ghost and Goblin. No, wait, you wanna know what the real problem is? Is that they didn't take the arcade game and put it on a Sega Genesis cart. I mean, would that have been that hard to do? Take the game that's in arcades, the one that's really awesome, and put it on a Sega Genesis. That doesn't seem too hard. But no, instead of doing that, this one tried to knock off the NES X-Men, the uncanny X-Men, the real X-Men game for home consoles. The game had everything. It had co-op, it had different mutants you can play as in selectable stages. The best X-Men home game you can buy. And you know what else tried to rip off the NES version? The Xbox version of X-Men Legends. Yeah, hey, let's try and make an overhead action game where you can shoot stuff and it can be co-op. <laughs> yeah, well you didn't do it as good as the NES, so don't even try. What are you doing? What do you mean what I'm doing? I'm hosting the show. You broke into my house and you set up the camera and started filming an episode. Well, you left the chair up for grabs, so I assume that that meant anyone could sit down and do a review. Or is this just your YouTube channel? Yes, it is. Oh. Well, still. And if you're supposed to be the rascal character, you're not even wearing the same colored hat. What are you talking about? And this isn't going to be one of those YouTube bits where I have a bunch of wacky characters showing up that I interact with who are all played by me on a regular basis. What do you mean I'm not a character? I'm Rascal, remember? Attitude, late 90s? Eh? Huh? No, you weren't even a character. You were just a hastily thrown outfit that I put together with stuff in my closet. Oh no, oh no, 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 you shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have called attention, now the space-time continuum is gonna die! Well, that makes a lot of sense. Jeez, with all of that nonsense, I've got to pull it up over here, now I've got doppelgangers floating around. I apologize for that, folks. I promise that the next episode will be a real review, where we'll probably be taking a look at... Mystery Quest? I can't handle Mystery Quest right now!